Okay, thanks for joining me today. We've got a fun little build. So this is a Benchmade bug out that I purchased for my youngest son. We have James with us. James, say hello. Hi. Uh, so this was going to be his reward for uh, finishing up eighth grade and moving on to high school and doing well with his grades. Uh, and he has been asking for a bug out for quite a while. So I ordered him this bug out, got a pretty good deal on it. Um, online and uh, we have some upgrades here and so that's what we're going to do so we have some flitanium titanium uh, contoured scales for the mini bug out we also have uh, the kp oversized washers i generally put these on all my bug outs or mini bug outs we have a lynch northwest titanium deep carry pocket clip with the lynch northwest uh, feather engraving and I think that's going to look really sweet with the titanium scales, the black hardware, um, the titanium uh, pocket clip. We also got him a complete set of, of black hardware from KP, also does it. But I did notice once I received the knife, well, it's already black hardware. So the only two screws that we're going to need to replace are going to be the pocket clip screws. So... We're going to get into this. We'll take this down to high speed. James, what do you think? You think it's going to look good? James, so we've got the screws out on the show side and T10 for the pivot tool, which for some reason I thought was an eight, six for the, um, for the body screws and the pocket clip. Now, this is where it's important that you use your pivot tool. So we're trying to keep it all together. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but it's important to try. There it goes. Okay, so the flat side points towards uh, the jumping on the scale. So you just push that through. Sometimes it helps to pull the lock back a little bit. There we go. Now we got the pivot out. I have to break this thing down all the way. I just realized that if we're gonna do the oversized washer, so. So we're gonna go ahead and release your spring. See that? Mm -hmm. Spring pokes in there. <clears throat> Turn it up, push it through. Okay, so now again, we're show side. Let's keep, let's just remember that. And unfortunately, I think this really doesn't matter that much because again, we're gonna to have to dismantle this all the way. So we'll use this when we put it back together. Let's go ahead and take the rest of our screws out if we can. So there's that. So now we have this. So if all we were doing was the scales, we could just put the scales back on and put it back together. But we do want to do the oversized washers, right? Mm -hmm. Why not? Okay, so let's go all the way with this. This is where everything takes a lot longer, so we're just going to dismantle the rest of it. Okay. Now on show side, there's your blade. Washer. All right, so we've broken it all down. So what do we do now? Cleanup time, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to help me with that? I'm going to go ahead and pause this. We're going to clean this up, all right? All right, so James has cleaned up all the inner components with some alcohol. We're going to go ahead and do a quick wipe down of everything with some tough cloth just to protect the internals. start putting this thing back together so this is always tricky you got to figure out how to put this together so it's like a sandwich all right so we got the cage together which means we can now put our scales back on uh, 
Notice I got myself just a tiny poke with the tip, but like I told the son, you gotta be, you gotta watch that blade. It wants to get you the whole time. If you're smart, you'd have it taped up. I'm not always smart about it. But anyway, we finally got the cage together. So as long as I don't screw up, the rest of this should be fairly easy. So we're gonna take it down, put the rest of it together and come back. Thanks. All right, we're all done with the put together. I'm gonna let James get in here and uh, see how it feels. A couple things we ran into, the pivot tool, thank God, if you are working on a Benchmade axis lock and you don't have this pivot tool, you got problems. So everything went really smooth, especially with putting the pivot back in. You know, it's the typical thing of just reminding myself which way Benchmade likes the, the pivot to be entered. Um, let's go ahead. We did use the two black um, pocket clip screws from the new black set. We did not change the thumb stud. I'm thinking about because this is a little bit, that thumb stud is a little bit shinier, or a little bit richer. What do you think of that, James? I'm actually thinking of using that. Do you want to keep the original on there or switch that out? I like the original. We can leave it for now. It's just nice because it's it's more of a mat. Everything else is nice and shiny, but we'll see what you want to do. We can we can leave it for now. So your OEM parts, all that stuff, put it back in here. There's your little slip case that came with it. So there is your scales, your washers, your extra screw set. Bam. Okay. And you, if you don't use this, you can put that in your box as well. Okay. All right, James, take a look at it. Tell us what you think, okay? Okay. And of course, you have mine over there to compare it to if you want to. I like it. It is, it's sticky, like, it sticks right there. When you pull the crossbar lock down. So you got a little bit of lock stick? Mm -hmm. well, it's, oh, let me get a picture. Well, it's brand new. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just one stick? No. That's the wife talking, coming over here. She wants to take a picture. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I suspect that's a little bit because you have the blacked out hardware mm -hmm. and mine is not, right? So that until that until that finish on the hardware kind of wears itself in, you're gonna have a little bit, but that, that's still, yeah, I feel that. Okay, so remember one of the tricks of that we've talked about in the past, I've talked to people online, is to take a little drop of oil, okay, okay and see here, that's where your, your um, lock bar is gliding across, just put a single drop, single drop, Single drop, single drop. Oop, maybe a little too much on that side. And then just kind of work that a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, feel that. Mm -hmm. it's so, still there a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. But not nearly as much. That's gonna wear in over time. Okay, you got any blade play? Any lock rock, anything like that? No. Nah. Centered. Centered nicely. Mm -hmm. Now compare it to the other one that you got right there. So that's the one that I did that I, that's, so James has got mine here that has the, uh, the Flytanium Micarta scales with some brass hardware. How's it feel compared to weight wise, balance, that type of stuff? What are you thinking? Heavier because it's definitely heavier, isn't it? Even though yeah. there's titanium or light, I think it's thicker. Think so? Should it's I... got a little bit more thickness to it. Yeah. Um, there's a backspacer. Yeah, so I like I'd, that. I like I'd that. asked you if you wanted a backspacer, and you said you wanted to stay with standoffs. So yeah, we won't I like standoffs. 
Now compare the thumb stud, because that is an aftermarket thumb stud. So see how it feels to you. Which one feels easier to actuate? I don't know, both of them feel pretty good. Do you want to swap yours out now or just live with it for like that for now? Live with it like that. Okay. I like it, thank you. You like it? Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on finishing eighth grade. Thank you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us today and hit that subscribe button. See you soon.